closely related to uh, the series combination of two impedances is the concept of voltage division. And we saw voltage division back when we were talking about resistances in series. And it probably shouldn't surprise anybody when we see that just uh, that the voltage division with impedances in the sinusoidal steady state are uh, of the same type of calculation as they were when we were dealing with resistances in series. The only difference, again, is that we're using complex numbers. So, for example, we have then V1 is equal to V sub S times Z1 over Z1 plus Z2. And that would be the voltage across this impedance. And V2 is equal to V sub S times Z2 over Z1 plus Z2. And of course it's pretty easy to show that uh, combining V1 plus V2 equals V sub S. So what we're saying is that you've got a total of V sub S dropped across there. Z1 over Z1 plus Z2 times V sub S is V1, or V1 is proportional to Z1. And V2 is equal to V sub S times Z2 over Z1 plus Z2. Let's do an example using these values right here. V1 then is going to equal V sub S, which is 5 e to the j 30, times Z1, which is 3 plus j2, divided by Z1 plus Z2, or 3 plus j2 plus 5 minus j. Put some parentheses in there. And when we go through and do the math on that, we get uh, the product of those is 2.24 e to the j 56.57, that's a 7, degrees. Similarly, V2 then is going to equal 5 e to the j 30, just V sub s, times Z2, which is 5 minus j, divided by the sum of Z1, Z2, or 3 plus J2 plus 5 minus J. And you do those calculations and you get that V2 is equal to 3.16 E to the J 11.57. And I'll leave it to you to show that V1 plus V2 does in fact equal 5e to the J30.